I have just done that in like two minutes. Actually looks straight. <laughs> Hi friends, it's Lana here. Today I'm reviewing a heat styling tool. I'm really excited because it's been a long time since I've straightened my hair, done anything with heat on my hair and tried a new styling tool. So this is what I have. This is the Revolution Hair Hair Wrap. It's a hot air styler and this is kind of designed to compete with the Dyson Air Wrap. This retails for £99, so less than £100, whereas the Dyson Air Wrap is around about £400. I don't have the Dyson Air Wrap, so I can't compare directly. However, I want had a hairstylist try to use the Dyson Air App on me and it didn't work so well. So hopefully if we can get this to work, we will have found a great dupe and saved some money. If you're ready and I'm ready, let's get into it. So I'm just gonna slide this off. You've got the instructions in there, a little leaflet as well, just telling you what's what. So you have like the main handle, which has got all of the electronics in it. And then you have these three heads that you can switch out and put on here. So this one is the dryer. You can see it's like hollow on the inside. And I guess that is like made as like a direct comparison to the Dyson. However, whether it actually has the same technology, we will have to test. So this is like the straightening comb. So this is going to be really interesting because this is also just based on air because it's an air styler rather than direct heat with tongs. It does have kind of like metal plates in there, which I assume will heat up along with the air, but it's not going to be as intense as if you were using a heat styling tong, like flat iron as America's call it. You guys call it a flat iron. Here we call it like straighteners. And then this one I'm really excited for. This is is the curler. I would be like watching Love Island through the summer and they were always using the Dyson Air Wrap to curl their hair and it seemed to just like, you didn't need to do anything, the curler would just do all the work for you, like you put it up against your hair and it just wraps around magically. So I'm really excited to try this. Cable, this is like how you would switch it on like this. It only has zero and then one, so there's not like different heat temperatures, but it does have this set. So the set button, from what I can gather from the instructions, is controlling the heat and the speed, but it looks as though you can't separately control the heat and the speed. With the Dyson hairdryer, and I assume it would be the same for the Dyson air wrap, but correct me if I'm wrong, you can separately control heat and airflow. You have a lot of control over what you're doing. That does straight away give you a little bit less control than the Dyson products. So I'm just gonna lock this one on. When I very first opened this up, I was really struggling to put it on because I was trying to like twist it on. You don't need to twist it on, you literally just need to push it on. It did say like line up the bits, but I can't see where you would line it up. So <sighs> I'm just gonna shove it on like that. The Dyson Air Wrap, guys, is kind of pricey and it didn't work so well in my hair, even when a hairstylist was using it in my hair. So I'm not. Oh, hello. So I'm not completely convinced of whether the air wrap would be worth it for the money for me. But with this one being so much more affordable, hopefully I found something that's gonna be worth it on my hair, that works on my hair. I don't know, maybe it would make a good Christmas gift or something like that. Like, yes, we are coming up to that time of year. So make a note. So I'm gonna go and prepare my hair. I've got curling products in my hair right now and stuff. So I'm just gonna go and wash those out, have a little bit of a hair transformation. How about that? Okay, so my hair is a little bit drier. I'd say it's maybe like 50 percent but I'm ready to start trying this out. So I bought over my Dyson hairdryer just to compare. This is the front of the Dyson. So you can see it does have some vents where the air would come out, but I just know that their technology is very, very advanced. I mean, it does look quite similar really when you like break it down. It's all very technical guys, very, very technical. So this does say that it has advanced icon iconic, might be iconic, advanced ionic technology for smoother drying, helping to reduce frizz and promote healthier looking hair. Now there's not actually too much information included about the technology. I hold my hair kind of tight while I go ahead and brush my hair. determined to go curly at the ends. So I just realized something. I've been trying to like get my hair to be 100% uh, dry with this hairdryer so that I can move on to straightening because that's what I would normally do if I was using a straightening iron. Like I would never put the straightening iron onto wet hair because that really can burn it. But seeing as this straightening brush is not a normal straightener, it's an air styler. I can actually just switch to drying with that even if my hair is not 100% dry. I do have some initial thoughts about 
the hair dryer. As far as I can tell, this bottom one is high fan, low heat. So it's actually quite cool on the, on the lowest setting. The middle one is high heat, low fan, it feels like. So yeah, switch it up. It feels hotter, but it feels like less power. And then you move up to the highest setting. So it will be the red light that comes on. And that one will be high heat, high power as well. So it'll be everything. So you've kind of got the option of high heat, no power, or high power, low heat, or both. The difference on here, there's actually four heat settings and four power settings on here, and you can completely customize it however you want. Because when I say low heat on this one, it's literally no heat. It's like, that's the cool shot. This one actually has the four heat settings and a cool shot. So this has so many more heat and power settings. But this is a lot more expensive. The air wrap is also a lot more expensive. And also this one is obviously not customizable. You can't take this off and then put the air wrap attachment onto it. So just keep that in mind. This one is gonna be like a little all-in-one. It does get very hot though. And I am just worried about taking this off right now because it's just very hot in my hands. You have to like, oh, you are gonna have to like wait just a minute or two in between switching heads because the heads kind of overheat. I'm moving on to the straightening brush, guys. I'm wearing this ear cap over my ear because I have a piercing in my helix and it was taking so long to heal because I kept catching it every time I washed and styled my hair. So I've been wearing these every time I do my hair and it's actually really helping it to heal. So I might leave a link to these in the description box. Maybe I should have been using this head all along. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Okay, break. <laughs> First thing I noticed was that it was kind of hard to kind of get it to sit on my hair. Although it's not, because I'm like doing it now. Pay attention and really try to do it. I can do it. A second thing I noticed was that my hand kept slipping onto the dials. So I kept changing the speed and the heat accidentally, which I didn't want to do. I was definitely changing this accidentally and it was bugging me a little bit. Next thing I noticed was that I'm actually getting through my hair really quickly. I have just done that in like two minutes. Once again, I am just finding that it keeps switching too often when I don't want it to. I'm also noticing that I really, really need a haircut. I have a lot of split ends right now. <laughs> It's quite hard to get it to latch on, when it, especially when it's got air blowing out of it. I've used straighteners that are this design before, but because it's a straightener, you have time to sort of just like put it on your hair and go down and it's all quite chilled and calmed out. It's all quite calm and chilled out. Where this one is blowing out air, it's like it's trying to catch on, but it's also blowing it and I'm trying to do it on the gentle power setting, but my hand keeps slipping. So then it blows out loads of power and then it goes crazy and then it can't grip on because it's blowing the hair away. And the air is actually quite hot when it's doing that as well. So I can't just like have my hand there trying to like get it. It's kind of bugging me, I can't lie. I think if they had a head similar to this, like the T3 Micro, then that would be much more helpful. I'm gonna put this one on and I'm very excited for this head. So this right here is the curling head. I'm gonna put it on, not power. I'm gonna have it on the heat instead of the power and just, ah, okay, this way. You gonna go? You gonna go? Oh, you see it when? Oh my God. Whoa. Come on. That's so cute, but like, why is it making my hair like go to the top? Can it do it or not? I'm gonna put it on the highest setting as well. Red. Ah! Woo! Woo! It keeps shoving it all to the top. Instead of it like wrapping around, it just wants it all up here, which is not very helpful. Let's keep trying, trying to master this. I'm trying to think, if it wants it at the top, maybe I should put it at the bottom. Like, what's that about? Okay, it's definitely gonna try and shove it to the end, so I think I'm gonna actually have to do it this way. Okay, so for me, with that, I am having to do it on the highest setting, otherwise it just is not working. So that's highest heat and highest power. But again, I'm still having the problem where it's like, keeps switching. Did you see all that? There was so much smoke just then. You see this? It has to 
has curled my hair at the ends, only at the ends, and I don't think it could really do more than that. I'm taking smaller sections this time. I'm gonna have another go at the straightening brush and just see what we can do with this. But I'm getting a little bit worried now, guys, because just now I was getting so much smoke with it. I actually needed to take a break to just let the smoke clear out. I opened windows, I put the vents on and everything. I don't know what that was about. I mean, it could just be steam because obviously we're drying water, but it could just be that, but it was a lot. Okay, so obviously it's not looking like I just straightened it because I haven't. I'm thinking that this is going to be a good basis for if I did want to straighten it or if I was going for this kind of look. So if you were going for this big kind of like puffy look, then you could do that as well with this. That whole process is so much easier on that side. It just works so much better with being right-handed. that part like that's like the only part I felt like actually looks straight the rest of it kind of looked just bumpy and frizzy so I'm happy with this part oh but my roots are still damp and they're gonna go curly okay so let's just take a quick look at my hair. If you're going for like a straightened look, a sleek look, this ain't it. It might be a step towards it. I'm gonna be able to create a finished look when I switch heads to the curl. Like, you can try, like when I did like the little test sections down here, it definitely seemed to like calm down the frizz to use the curler. And I don't know what it is. It just kicks up so much steam whenever I do it. If I take very small sections, I think that the steam isn't as bad. I don't I wanna take very small sections because it will take me forever. You see how like even that was too big because then it started kicking up loads of steam. The sections have to be very, very small like this. That's really not very much hair at all. But it looks more because it's like frizzier. gonna be the most that I can do with this tool. So I've dried my hair, I've tried to blow dry it a little bit straighter, and then I've tried to curl the ends. I'm just getting so much just craziness when I try to curl it, so I'm not gonna keep trying to do that. I do think that this product does have some good points. It is gonna be a good tool to have if you want to use this as a basis to then go on and straighten your hair. I'm gonna go and straighten my hair in a minute, and it's gonna be very easy to do because I already have done this. Also, you do have the interchangeable heads, so that's going to be a huge benefit as well, especially for the price point at £99, which is so much better than a lot of the other tools that are coming out. I haven't tried the other ones, but I have a feeling they're going to be just the same. I did mention that a hairstylist did attempt to use the Dyson Airwrap on my hair and the results were pretty similar to this. What she said was that my hair was just too long and too thick. The brush just couldn't handle it. That's, that's what she said. I definitely think that you would have very different results if you had shorter hair, like if your hair was maybe short shoulder length, if you have a bob, if you maybe just have a bit less hair or just less curly, then I think that this could be amazing. 10 minutes later. Hey guys, there you have it. I have gone over my hair with a straightener and then just added some waves, added a little bit of some fringe action as well. And I just wanted to show you how that air styler basically just works to prep your hair for straightening. I have not straightened my hair for a really long time. I've kind of forgotten how to do it, but this is how it's ended up. So I'm gonna now crack on and do a Halloween costume. I'm doing Selena. Yeah, hopefully this hair can play right into the look. Let me know what you think of the tool in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you want me to try out any other heat styling tools in future. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week. See you, bye.